clear now we will move on to calculation of shear force and bending we will move on to calculation for shear force and bending okay now i'll write here calculation of shear force and bending moment calculation of shear force and bending moment so i'll write the free body diagram here now i'll just write the free body diagram here hmm so this is the span hmm and we have the load here column a column b column b a is 600 kiloton and b is 900 kiloton hmm and this uh, this distance we i got it as this is 3.6 is i got it as 1.46 this i got it as 0.74 okay understood and uh, load load that is the upward pressure understood so this is nothing but upward pressure per meter upward pressure per meter what is that upward pressure per meter understood okay so now so what i'll do i'll leave some space here for the sketch for the um, sfd and bmd okay i'll start with this hmm? okay so therefore here considering again the entire width for upward pressure considering considering the entire width for upward pressure hmm so therefore we'll get q is equal to that is load 1500 divided by area provided is 10.44 so this will get it is in kilo newton per meter square and to convert into kilo newton meter this value will get it as kilo newton per meter square and to convert the upward pressure what i told you here the upward pressure per meter to consider or to convert that upward pressure per meter so we'll write it is here width of footing so we have to multiply here width of footing okay so we'll get this as uh, this value will get it as 143.69 so we we'll check here 1400 sorry 1500 divided by 10.44 so we'll get this is as 143.6 Six nine okay into width of footing is one point eight so the upward pressure will get it as upward pressure per meter will get it as two fifty eight point six two kilo newton per meter so this upward pressure you have to use for the calculation of shear force and bending moment understood okay. 
for the calculation of shear force and bending moment. Okay, so we'll calculate that. So first shear force. Okay. First shear force. Okay. So first is shear force. Hmm? So that is shear force at C is equal to zero. So I'll just name it as A B C D here now. Okay. So I'll name it as. So this is A B C and D. Hmm? Okay. So shear force at C is equal to zero. Then shear force at A. That is left and right again. You are going to calculate. So shear force at A. So shear force at A. That is in left. Okay. So we'll get this as two fifty eight point six two into zero point seven four. So we'll get this value as. One ninety one point three seven kilo newton. Hmm? Then shear force at A. That is in right right side of A. So we'll get this is a plus one ninety one point three seven minus six hundred. So we'll get minus four not eight point six two. Kilo newton. So we'll get this as minus four not eight point six two kilo newton. Hmm. Then again, shear force at B. Shear force at B. Left. So we'll get this as again minus four not eight point six two plus two fifty eight point six two into three point. Six. Okay, if you consider at left, hmm, so that is, this is upward pressure. We have got it as two fifty eight point six two kilo newton per meter. Okay, so two fifty eight point sixty into three point six. That is left of A B. And if you go to right of B, you have to direct nine hundred. Understood? So therefore, then again, shear force at B. That is right. So we'll get this. We'll get this as this value. I think we got it as uh, we got this value as five twenty-two point four one kilo newton. Correct. You have to cross-check these values. Hmm? Then again, here it is five twenty-two point four one minus nine hundred. So we'll get this value as minus three. Seventy-seven point five eight kilo newton. Okay, understood. So we got A, C, A, B. Okay. Then, if you want to check, you can check for shear force at D also. Hmm? So this value it is minus three seventy seventy-seven point five eight plus sorry plus one point four six into Two fifty eight point six two. So this value will get it as zero. Okay. Hmm? So we got both uh, that is uh, A, B, and C, D. So if you want to draw the this thing here, uh, the distribution, I'll just show you. I'll just erase these lines here. So shear force at A, we got it as. So here it is. Okay. So if you check here, we got it as one ninety one point three seven positive. So this is as. I'll use the other color pen. So it is one ninety one point three seven positive. Then again negative, we got it as minus four not eight point six two. So we'll get somewhere here. So it is. Four not eight point six two. Then, if you go to B, 
at B we got it as 522.41 that is positive so some here will be as 522.41 and again at B we got it as minus 377.58 so let's see here 377.58 so if I draw this okay, if I draw this we will get the curve like this again you have to come down hmm? go up here hmm? again here also like this like this so this is SFD hmm? so this is positive negative positive negative hmm? now we'll move on to bending moment okay now we move on to bending moment BMD okay so next bending moment bending moment okay so here bending moment at C is equal to 0 then next bending moment at A is equal to so it is 258.62 into 0 0.74 into 0 0.74 divided by 2 so we will get this value as 70.80 kilo newton meter hmm? then again bending moment at B if you want to check I will come back from that side so 258.62 into 1.46 into 1.46 square by 2 so we will get this value as 275.63 kilo newton meter ok hmm? so I will just show it here how you got A, A and B so at A so we know that the upper pressure is 258.62 so 258.62 into 0.74 into 0.74 by 2 at A. At B again if you check from this side 258.62 into 1.46 into 1.46 square by 2. Okay. So we got these two values. Hmm? So I will <coughs> draw the sketch here now. I will just draw the sketch. Okay. So we have got this. Again I will limit as A b c d okay a b c d hmm? Hmm? here also I'll write as a b c d hmm? so we'll get if you uh, check the behavior here okay if you check so we'll get this as like this hmm. understood so I'll just write the values here so under column A we got it as 70.8 under column B we got as 275.63 so this is positive positive negative so this is what BMD hmm? So students, you have to practice this. Hmm? Then if you get any queries, okay, you can contact me. Hmm? So uh, for the uh, location of maximum bending moment and point of contrast flexure, okay, so that is the location of maximum bending moment and the uh, location of zero shear force and also the point of contrast flexure hmm, we will discuss in next class. Okay, and if you regarding this in today's session or in the previous session, if you have any queries, uh, you can discuss with me. Okay, if you have any doubts, hmm, you are free to ask. Hmm? <coughs> okay, thank you.